You guys seem to be loving this series of drawing one character in four different art styles. We have already done anxiety, disgust, and now we're doing fear. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I will be telling you who I am drawing next. But guys, I am going to be doing this crazy comment right here. He wants me to do realism, clockwork like gears, static, and zombie. Holy cow! How the heck am I going to do all those? Those sound difficult. Well, let's start off with the realism, aka just like the movie. And I'm going to put this sheet underneath my drawing so the paper underneath is protected from the ohuhu markers. I have so many of these now, they've become one of my favorite art supplies. If you are wanting some other markers, you can always use the code in the description. Anyways, who is your favorite character slash emotion from the new Inside Out 2 movie? I think, obviously, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, anxiety runs my head. I am always stressing out, overthinking, but whatever. My favorite character has to be embarrassing. Like, look at him! He's just so fluffy! I get really nervous drawing these Inside Out characters because they they kind of look like a pointillism style. Like, you see all these dots I'm making? If you look at any of the characters closely, you will see that they're kind of like dots. Almost look like fur. I don't know how to explain it. But those eyes turned out amazing. Okay, guys. Listen up here. This is probably going to be the craziest style I have ever done. How am I going to make this guy look like gears and cogs well i don't know if you guys know this but i am a welder i weld for a living and i do youtube on the side and i've seen a lot of cool weld art before where people weld gears and nuts and bolts chains spoons any sort of metal they can find and so i'm trying to replicate that in this i put a gear in there for him but i'm also wanting to do like a chain i think that'd be cool and i didn't want to do like a rusted out brown oranges color theme i wanted it to be more like brand new like silver almost like a chrome i really hope i can replicate what i'm envisioning in my head but it's gonna be super hard with all the colors only being gray so i think i'm gonna decide later on but i might add a like a tannish color on there just to give it some more 3d effects and also maybe add some blues i don't know it's just it's looking really good so far but just the grays are kind of throwing me off I'm wanting it to look more realistic, but adding all of these different colors, it's kind of doing that, giving it like a 3D feel. But guys, I know you're probably thinking like, this is very unique and crazy, like how does he do this? But guys, the static effect, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. How am I gonna pull like a static effect and make it look good at all for fear? And he said he wants it like old timey, like black and white, like I can't even do a colorful static. This is gonna be crazy. I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but I did add some tan in there to kind of give it like a reflection look. And then I just got done adding some blues. And now I'm going to go back in with a different gray and kind of blend it together. I think this whole drawing right here is coming along great so far. Do you guys think that I should do some sort of weld art, like since I'm a welder? I mean, that would be kind of cool. Like maybe a special video just for that. Okay, guys, I'm getting close to being done with this and I'm stressing out about doing a static effect. That just sounds crazy to me and absolutely bonkers. So since he wants it black, white, and gray, so what I'm gonna do is put it right directly underneath the gears and then that side's all gonna be basically gray. That's gonna be kind of cool. So the top right and the bottom right are gonna be like grays and then he wants me to do a zombie for the bottom left. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make my zombie purple so I can kind of represent fear. Okay guys, now we are getting into part three, which is indeed static. And my thought process behind this is his teeth are white normally. So I'm going to make the grays light colored on his teeth. But like where he's purple, I'm going to make them a little bit darker. And I'm still going to try to shade and shadow and have all my lines go horizontal to kind of give it a static feel. So you can see right here, I'm outlining his teeth with like dark grays and then also a little bit of black. This almost gives me the vibes of pointillism and also monochromatic colors. Now I'm going in with my lightest gray just to kind of fill it in. But don't worry, I'm going to add some different grays and try to add some highlights and shadows. Right here, what I'm doing is I'm, that little spot that I covered up on his lip, that's going to be the shadow for the nose. So right there is going to have to be very dark. But so far, 
How do you guys think this is turning out? I think this is actually coming together. You can see I just added this bottom lip, but we're still only doing rings. This is kind of fun and neat. It's like going outside your comfort zone to create a masterpiece. I'm not just doing the same old, same old. So if you want me to pick your comment next, comment something crazy for me to do. Like these were absolutely insane. And I was like talking to my wife and I'm like, babe, look at this comment. And she's like, you have to pick that comment. That is absolutely crazy. So I did, and I'm a little bit behind. This drawing probably took me a few hours longer than normal because I normally pick some easier styles. But anyways, the static one is done. Let's move on to the zombie. If you could rate the static drawing out of one to 57, what would it be? Okay, so I just quickly sketched my rough draft for my zombie. I wanted to give him some holes, almost like SpongeBob, kind of representing like his flesh is falling off. I gave him a big gash on the side of his head that has his brain coming out. And then also, I want his eye to be missing. So we're just gonna give him a black eye, indicating like there's nothing there. And I wanted his like, I also wanted to give my zombie very yellow teeth because zombies don't brush their teeth. I mean, is that normal? I think so. But anyways, I gave him some blood coming out of his mouth because zombies eat brains and I don't know why in my head that made sense, but yeah, it made sense. And then I'm just gonna color in his shirt, like his normal shirt from the movie. But dude, just looking at this drawing, it blows my mind. Like all of these styles combined, it's making it look so cool. What is your favorite style in today's video? Cause I think mine's gonna be the gears. But then I really also like the zombie. The zombie looks very cool. Have you ever seen that SpongeBob episode where it's like, chocolate yeah well this kind of gives me that like old old crusted up grandma vibe what's her name again the one in the wheelchair ah it's not important so how do you like the crater in the neck i think it looks kind of neat i tried adding some depth to it by putting black and gray as the shadows so we're all done here's realism the gears static and the zombie everybody if you made it this far make sure to comment your favorite style and Comment some very cool styles you want to see in the next video, too. Who knows? You might just get picked. Anyways, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys for all of the love and support. Maybe think about subscribing to me since I do make some pretty cool art. <laughs> and also, I post two long forms a week now. <laughs> Let's see who we're going to be drawing for next week. I really, really hope we get embarrassment. Please, please, please. On we. Oh, well, this should still be fun too. Comment some awesome ideas and make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn them post notifications on. Bye, guys.